Maniratham's cuddle right on top of the, that is the biggest disappointment for me this year because um, it it I uh, because I love Maniratham I'm a huge fan and only by his standards is it a bad film you know not by any other standards if you're comparing Maniratham films to uh, like seventy uh, percent of the Tamil films made last year cuddle is still better than seventy percent of Tamil films made or maybe even eighty percent of Tamil films made are uh, you know cuddle is better than that but that is not the yardstick with which we measure you know Maniratnam Maniratnam is like one of the finest so I thought that cuddle got lost because uh, it did not have a strong enough uh, conflict um, if if it was a story about an orphan who has to choose between good and evil at the interval point the the film hinges on the fact that he has to settle scores with his father. Five minutes after interval, the the father is dead, and the film is lost. There is no motivation for the character to live on, and it just goes on into like three, four song numbers, which seem like his life is on a loop until the climax comes. So the second half just fell flat for me. It didn't work at all. There was nothing to look forward to. The heroine didn't work for me. The underage romance doesn't work for me. Um, the second half completely didn't work for me. But the first half of Cuddle, I thought, was very special. The second film to have uh, disappointed me was, uh, you know, Paradisi because of the way it exploited the issue, the way it it uh, there's a, at, from Bala especially, you understand he's the master of the dark uh, cinema, you know. So you understand there's going to be darkness, but when you at least give that to me in a. Um, you know, without compromise. When you're putting an item number into it, when you're making a f- church father dance and sing and dance, you, I don't see honesty in it. I see dishonesty. So um, it did not live up to the promise of being that also. You know, so it is a compromised film, um, and it did not tell me anything new. We know they suffered, but they suffered is not a story. They suffered is known fact. They suffered, hence something happened should have been the story. But that hence something happened never comes out in the film. They suffered. Full stop. Is it clear? So you know it doesn't make any sense. No, no. I try to be as fair as possible. Of course, I know both Selva and Mani Ratham very personally. But um, sometimes you feel, uh, I mean, it didn't appeal to me. They are good filmmakers, excellent filmmakers. They are the best. Mani Ratham is my all-time favorite uh, director, and like that, Selva has also come out with the best movies ever. He has made the most impressive movies. He just stuck a chord with me. That's it. That will always be there. That is why you only make friends with people who have thick skin. you know you you make friends who are uh, strong enough to take it if they are not strong enough to take it you don't be friends with them um all the friends that i have i can tell them that their films are good or bad uh, i don't think they would have a problem with it they are they are like you know men enough to take it uh, whether it's a venkat prabhu i told him his film had to be uh, it needed to be adult it couldn't have been um, you saying biryani and without like piece it's not uh, it's not a meaty biryani it's like a vegetarian sort of a biryani it made as a you film you know So I told him, I wish you show me the unrated version. Is what I told him. So there are there are filmmakers where you can tell them whether it worked, it did not work. Uh, Gautam Menon is another filmmaker. I can tell him, you know, and he expects only that. He expects us to tell the truth. Selva Raghavan, another fantastic filmmaker, who uh, who expects to be told the truth. Now I did not mention Selva's film in um, you know the disappointments because it was not disappointing to me at all because I knew he started to, to do something, and he was true to his vision. it's just that i think it was probably a little more indulgent than we would have liked it to be but it is still a very very different sort of an effort it's not my kind of cinema but i still respect the man for having actually put in the passion to believe in a dream which nobody else did and to actually make it come true so i have respect for uh, that kind of a thing so i was able to tweet and say that i love the uh, i love the passion but not the indulgence there's a difference between the two passion is when you're doing it for the sake of perfection indulgence is also you're doing for the sake of uh, perfection in your mind but you've forgotten what the audience wants you know so i think in uh, the selvaragun film that that's what happened but um, if we don't tell if we are not vocal about it uh, who's going to be vocal about it the role of critics is to say th- that this work this did not work so i think the smart filmmakers always know the value of criticism not the value of critics but criticism is such and um, the people who don't uh, uh, care for opinions they shouldn't care for opinions they should just focus on making money they shouldn't even pay attention to critics na vandu adha review na rate e pandradilla ungalku theriyum na rate padradilla na enna solrena na pros and cons ena makkal da rate pananum viewer avanna ava rating na kadachila vandu important inga na enna who am i to rate nanu or viewer dane So, ना 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 ना
ஒரே நிமிஷத்துல வெளியில ஏந்து வந்துருவோம் இந்த படம் நல்லா இல்ல அப்படின்னு வெளியில ஏந்து வந்துருவோம் உங்களோட மோர் அஸ் எ ஃப்ரெண்ட் நாட் அஸ் எ டெக்னீஷியனோ ஒரு டைரக்டராவோ ஒரு ப்ரொடியூசராவோ பேச கூடாது ஆனா ஒரு சினிமா வியூவரா பேசணும்னு நான் நினைக்கிறேன் அது அதுதான் அந்த வித்தியாசத்தை நான் மெயின்டைன் பண்ணலாம்னு பாக்குறேன் ரிவியூ பண்றதுல அதுல வந்து எனக்கு இந்தியா கிளிட்ஸ் வந்து ஒரு ஃப்ரீடம் கொடுக்குறாங்க ஒரு தெளிவா நீங்க என்ன யோசிக்கிறீங்களோ அதை நீங்க எழுதுங்க அப்படின்னு சொல்றாங்க அதில் வந்து சென்சார்ஷிப் பண்ணுறது இல்லை அவங்க ஸோ நானும் வந்து அந்த கேரக்டர் அசாசினேஷனோ ஒரு வல்காரிட்டியோ அந்த ரிவ்யூவில் வராத அதை தவிர்க்க ரொம்ப முயற்சி பண்ணுறேன் அது வந்து ஏன்னா எமோஷன்ஸ் வந்து எனக்கு நிறையா இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் இருக்கிறதுனால நிறைய பேரை எனக்கு தெரியும் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் என்னோட நிறைய பேர் பழகிருக்காங்க நான் ரெண்டாயிரத்தி அஞ்சு ஆறுலேருந்து இன்னி வரைக்கும் நிறைய பேரோட நான் பழகியிருக்கேன் பெரிய பெரிய ஸ்டார்ஸோடு பழகியிருக்கேன் பர்சனலாகவே அவங்களோட பழகியிருக்கேன் ஸோ அவங்கள பற்றி எழுதும்போது கொஞ்சம் எனக்கே வந்து ஒரு பெயின் இருக்குது ஒரு வழி இருக்குது ஐயோ நம்ம வந்து இவங்களை பற்றி இப்படி எழுதுகிறோமே பட் அதை தவிர்க்க முடியறது இல்லை ஏன்னா ஒரு மனுஷன் ஒருத்தன் தப்பு பண்ணும் நம்மளே அதை தப்பு பண்ணாலும் அந்த தப்பை நம்ம ஒத்துக்கிறது தான் பெருந்தன்மை ஐம் அ ஃபேம் கிரிட்டிக் அண்ட் ஐ லைக் டு ஸ்டே அவே ஃப்ரம் த நம்பர்ஸ் பிகாஸ் த நம்பர்ஸ் வில் கிளவுட் யுவர் ஜட்மெண்ட் அண்ட் ஐ லைக் டு ப்ரிசர்வ் இட் பிகாஸ் ஃபார் மீ இட் டஸ் நாட் மேட்டர் வித் பீப்பிள் லைக் இட் ஆர் நாட் பிகாஸ் வாட் பீப்பிள் லைக் இஸ் நோ பேரோமீட்டர் ஃபார் ஹவு குட் அ ஃபேம் இஸ் people there have been examples where people have like terrible films there have been examples where brilliant films have been ignored by people so you cannot go by people um take a film like arunya kandam it is one of the best films in recent times did people watch it no so does it tell me that the movie is bad or that people are stupid so you can't really uh, judge everything on what people like what people don't like you know you ha- as a critic you're supposed to preserve your thing so i leave out the numbers i don't even consider the numbers the numbers don't even come into the picture when i'm making my observation of whether a film is good or bad that is the role of a critic in fact to actually evaluate a film and put it in the context of how good or bad it is without thinking about uh, did it do well how much did it make and all that because numbers could lie and we know that um, the success of a film is attributed to different factors like marketing number of uh, scenes the climate maybe it just rained that day that nobody went to the movies you yeah, know well, maybe there was a bunt maybe there was exams there are so many factors so you can't just take the business of a film and say to judge how good or bad a film is we respect um, criticism en ellarum oru 120 rupayo illa 150 rupayo illa 75 rupayo enna kaasu kuduthu oru padatha paakraangalo avangalukku adha criticize panna koodiya urimai undu ana vandu criticize panni eludrathu vandu ஒரு தனிப்பட்ட ஒருத்தரோட அபிப்பிராயமாக நான் நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ அதை வந்து வேத வாக்காக எடுத்துட்டு படம் பார்க்குறதா வேணாமான்னு செலக்ட் பண்ணக்கூடாதுங்கிறது என்னுடைய வேண்டுகோள் ஏன்னா வந்து சில படங்கள் வந்து நிறைய மதிப்பெண்கள் கொடுத்த படங்கள் வந்து அந்த அளவு காட்சிகள் போயிருக்கான்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா அது பெரிய கேள்விக்குறி இந்த படம் நல்லாவே இல்லைன்னு எழுதப்பட்ட படங்கள் வந்து பாக்ஸ் ஆஃபீஸில் பெரிய ஹிட் ஆகிருக்கு ஸோ வந்து ஒரு தனி நபர் அவருடைய கருத்துக்கு அவ்வளோ முக்கியத்துவம் கொடுக்கணுமா ஏன்னா சில ஒரு என்னுடைய ஒரு ப என்னுடைய படத்தை பற்றி ஒரே நாளிதழில் ஆங்கிலத்தில் வந்து இந்த படத்தில் எதுவுமே சிறப்பாக இல்லை அப்படின்னு எழுதியிருந்தாங்க அதே நாளிதழோட தமிழ் பத்திரிகையில் இது வந்து ஒரு நல்ல படம் சிறப்பான படம்னு எழுதியிருக்காங்க ஸோ இது ஒரு தனிப்பட்ட ஒருத்தருடைய கருத்தாக தான் நான் எடுத்துக்கிறேன் யூ ஜஸ்ட் ஹாவ் டு எவ்ரி ரிவ்யூ இஸ் ஒன் பர்சன்ஸ் ஒப்பீனியன் ஐ திங்க் பீப்புள் ஷுட் டேக் இட் ஓன்லி வித் தட் சார்ட் ஆஃப் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் the one person's opinion and then form their own opinion about uh, how it goes i think in today's world everybody is a critic twitter facebook la pathinga na everybody has strong opinions right so um this is just one more opinion so these comments is just one more opinion in addition to the 100 opinions ana when you're seeing out of 100 opinions if 70 people are telling you it is bad maybe there is some truth to it if 80% 80% of people are saying it is bad 80 reviews you've read 80 tweets are saying it's a bad film then maybe it is bad you know 100 hundred reviews you have read hundred tweets are saying it's bad there's no doubt it must be a bad film you know so the perception of truth is being uh, defined by the quantum or of the volume of uh, collective reviews it is not one person's review you cannot say it just because i didn't like it does not make mean the film is bad i could have liked it for my own personal reasons so i think films are like people you like some people for some reasons even if they are not perfect you like them some people you don't like even if they are like the most gentlemanly towards you even if they speak the best way you sometimes don't like them because you probably think they're fake cinema is like that you know different people will perceive receive understand cinema differently and uh, it's always going to be like that people i think are smart enough to know that just because he liked it does not mean i will like it i think at least my readers i know are smart enough to know that uh, you know that 
they know that just because I liked it, they shouldn't. It's not necessary that they also have to like it. And my whole point is, if you're going to read only reviews you agree with, then why don't you write your own review and read it? Why are you reading other people's review? Yeah. The idea is you're going to read a review because you're getting another opinion on it. And you know, so that is the reason. So all these people who say, I don't like this reviewer because he, I don't agree with him, they're idiots. They can write their own reviews and they can read their own reviews. Why, should, why do they even bother reading? Um, I think a smart reader, a smart movie watcher understands that there could be 100 different responses to films. He would read 100 reviews and he would watch his own film and he would be smart enough to make up his own mind without being influenced by any of the 100 reviews. You know, and be capable of having discussions with the people he's agreed with and not uh, agreed with. I think that would be a really smart viewer. And I hope all my readers are that smart. Today, everybody is a reviewer. And everybody is smart enough to understand which film to see and which not to see. And uh, they, they make their decision. I am nobody to tell them, don't see this movie or don't see that movie. I am nobody. And at the end of the day, it is a person who pays at 120 rupees who takes a decision.